The purpose of this video is to show diameter adjustments using the vernier markings on Kaiser finished boring heads. The first thing we want to do with any Kaiser head is loosen up the diameter locking screw. Never try to make even the slightest adjustment of the tool diameter without first making sure that this screw is unlocked. Failure to do so can cause damage to the adjusting mechanism. The inch version of the 310 finished boring heads have a 5 tenths dial with a 1 tenth vernier. The divisions on the gold dial represent 5 tenths adjustment on the diameter, while the vernier markings around the outside of the dial split that 5 tenths increment down to 1 tenth. So there is no need to guess when making adjustments of even a tenth or two on diameter. You may notice that there are actually 6 vernier markings instead of 5. This is because the first and last marks actually line up with gold dial marks at the same time. In the following example, you'll see how to account for this duplication. Different heads within the Kaiser program may have different dial divisions, but the vernier works the same way, dividing the dial divisions into smaller increments. The dial and vernier increments are always marked on the tool. Now that we are ready to make a diameter adjustment, we must first determine which gold dial line matches up with a vernier line. That is our starting point. In this example, the zero line on the gold dial matches up with the third vernier line. For the first example, we'll make a positive diameter adjustment of 4 tenths. In order to do this, we rotate the dial clockwise. As we do this, we count vernier marks in the counterclockwise direction. When this vernier mark lines up with the corresponding gold dial mark, we have adjusted the diameter by one tenth. To get to four tenths, we have to go back to the other side of the vernier and continue counting from there. Skipping the vernier with the triangular mark because we already counted the vernier mark at the other end. The counting goes as follows. One tenth, two, three, skip the triangle vernier marking and end up here at four tenths. As the dial rotates, you can see the vernier marks line up. We'll stop briefly to show first and last vernier marks lining up at the same time. And now we have completed the 4 tenth adjustment. For the next example, let's assume our test cut yielded a diameter that was too large by 2 tenths. Now we need to make a negative diameter adjustment. We have a new starting point at the second vernier marking. Going clockwise, we skip the triangle vernier and count one tenth, two tenths. We rotate the dial counterclockwise until the gold dial mark lines up. Once our adjustment has been made, we once again tighten the locking screw. 